What's up, y'all? Aeronius here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Gonna be running into Live Arena, and of course, we've got missions going on on this account. I am free to play 100% if you've never tuned in. Please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel so you don't miss another upload. We need to get the 350 silver or gold crests in Live Arena, so we're gonna be pushing for that today. We are at our last iteration, the third segment of the Marius missions. We're at number 11, so Live Arena, can we get this many crest today? I don't know for sure, but let's do it. Let's hop in. Now, I am missing gear off of one of my champions. I believe it's uh, Alika, so I've been swapping gear around a lot for the Cursed City. So I've been trying to push as hard as I can in Cursed City. I haven't put, done any battles in about 24 or 48 hours. I'm still not at my house, but I just like snuck in today <laughs> to do a couple battles to make a video for you guys. So please consider leaving a like, would really appreciate that. Now, hopefully we can get some wins. I do really, really want Marius big time. He's gonna help my account tremendously, I think. And I was looking at defense-based nuker gear. Ragash on my account has the best, but it's really slow. So I think in this next iteration of the Doom Tower, the Dark Fae, I want to be able to farm and mainly focus on forging for defense-based nuker gear. Usually I'll farm for and forge for the attack-based nuker gear or HP-based nuker gear, but now I want to focus on defense-based nukers. I just don't have good defense nuker gear, so we'll see what we can do, what we can come up with during the Dark Fae rotation, which should start tomorrow, I believe. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. It's still going to take me a long time to get Marius, of course. So it's not like I'm going to get him in another week or two. It's probably going to take at least a month, I would say. Maybe longer. I guess it depends on my RNG, right? Because sometimes there are things that need to be done during the missions, and they need to land at the right time. So we'll see what will happen. All right, this guy, clearly he must have Carnage. I mean, I don't know for sure, but based on this avatar, I feel like he has Carnage. So potential Carnage user that I'm going to be facing. I've never fought Carnage before, but let's see if we face him tonight. Make myself just a little bit smaller for you guys so you can actually see the, the full screen here while I'm picking. Hopefully you guys are doing well, having a great weekend. Uh, we did have to unfortunately go to a funeral this weekend. My girlfriend's grandmother had passed, so um, you know my condolences went out for her family and you know, I feel really bad because she's not really doing that great, but uh, she just went out with some friends and stuff, which I figured that would make her feel a lot better. So, and then of course, ice cream, ice cream always makes things a little bit better. Not, not, not better right away, but as time goes on, things will get better. I always say sometimes food makes things so much better. I mean, that's why people have like large banquets after or have food and beverage with family to talk and, and socialize and, and get out there. So the only way you can actually get over a loss is by talking with friends and family. Don't just uh, always shut yourself down and, and lock yourself in your home because that just won't help. So I always recommend to, oh, I thought I pushed confirm, but I always recommend to go out with friends, family, socialize, talk, because if you just bottle everything up, it actually makes things way worse for you, in my opinion. But then again, I'm no expert in the field. It's just my personal experience. But yeah, so hopefully you guys are doing well. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. I don't know what's on the plate for tomorrow. Not really much on my plate, but we do have a lot going on with Raid recently, especially with the new gear set that's going to be coming into play, Pinpoint. And we just got Feral, and now we're getting Pinpoint, and now we're getting a new dungeon. It feels like it's coming all at us really quickly because I feel like we just got the clan versus clan or the clan wars. So I don't know. I feel like everything's coming at us really, really quickly. And we haven't been able to really soak in all the new um, stuff that's happening in raid. So this guy's going with Teox and going with Hefrak. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to go with. I think Wukong, but Teox, he's got already one person, Uko, with Teox. Duchess is not a skinwalker, neither is Hefrak. I, 
think I might just go with green affinity though here. Because he does have two people in polymorph as well. So blue affinity, green affinity versus the green affinity Teox should be fine. I might just ban, I mean, he might go at triple Skinwalker here. He did go with the, is this a Skinwalker though? I don't think so. I think he's Demon Spawn. He's going to be fast. 33% speed in Arena. That is crazy. Can I beat him though like this? If he has crazy speeds. I think I'm just going to ban the Duchess though. I was considering banning this dude right here, but let's just try to fight him. Let's try to fight him. Let's do this. Hopefully we can get this win. I mean, God knows how fast this guy's going to be. Oh, he's in all stone skin. Okay, that sucks. So, I mean... I'm definitely faster than him for the most part. Let's just do this. Oh, he countered. Okay, interesting. Transform. We're going to try our best to strip. We got polymorph. Oh, there's only one person in polymorph and it's three stars. Jesus. Three star polymorph just killed us. We just lost because of that. We just lost because of three star polymorph. That's awesome. Oh, Jesus. That's crazy. I mean, nothing we can do there, unfortunately. I was, kind of, I was trying to strip everybody, but oh well. Oh well. That sucks. That really sucks. Can't strip nobody in this game, apparently. But with the new pinpoint accessories and artifacts, I will be placing that on a lot of my champions. Pretty much everybody that I have will be in at least four piece pinpoint. So I just will not be getting polymorphed ever again. And if I do, it's because it's an elongated battle. So for pinpoint accessories, you want to try to go first. You want to try to get the kill as quickly as possible by debuffing and stripping the enemy team and then nuke them down. So that's probably what I'm going to be going for in the future. Tons and tons of pinpoint accessories. That's probably going to be the main dungeon to farm as well is pinpoint accessories. So that's what I'm going to be going for as much as possible. So I think I'm just going to go Duchess on this one. I'm going to go slow Duchess. You know what, let me just search this way. So slow Duchess with Bolster. And then we're going to go with Tormund. I'm going to go Tormund. Of course, he has a Seafy. I'm still going to bring in Tormund. I'll bring in Quintus. Nah, I'll bring in Foley. I could bring Quintus, but I won't get another turn with Quintus. Yeah, I'm just going to bring Tormund. Let's do it. I really wish Tor uh, Quintus had a grants an extra turn. I, I still think that he deserves a slight buff. He does have good damage multipliers. It's phenomenal. But if you're not going with a speed team that can allow him to reset or someone who's going to be able to protect him, it's really hard to bring in Quintus really high up unless you have crazy, crazy, crazy fast speed champions. So a, a lot of people talk, talk about like biohack using Quintus a lot. But the thing is, he has two speed champions that are over 400 plus speed so his quintus can get as many turns as possible whereas i do not have that luxury of insane speed champions so i would have to have some type of protection against him if i speed up and nuke once whereas biohack is going to be able to speed up nuke and then speed up again nuke again so i i just don't have that luxury but if i did i could utilize quintus a little bit more i think we're going to win this one no problem should be a dubski all right so let's go ahead and provoke now double provoke try to sleep him triple hit okay ggs all right oh we got ourselves a chest i didn't realize we were coming close to a chest let's take that come on damn dude five star five star five star all right Speed, attack, and crit rate. Okay, that's decent for Zale, but 
I really wish there was crit damage. It would have been perfect. Attack and crit damage, meh. HP, no speed at all. There's speed. Okay, that's good. It's at a really low 5, though, at the start, which sucks. Speed, crit rate, HP percent, accuracy. It's all 5-star gear, though. Crit damage, crit rate, HP, no speed. I mean, meh. I guess I'll keep it for now, but I'll try to maybe re-roll it in the future. Not the best for gear, though. Level 85. What's with these low-level players? I wonder. And they're really high up, too. 4,500? Pretty crazy. Usually when they're low-level players, but they're extremely high up, typically they are spenders. I mean, because I don't know how they would get this high up if they're not spenders and they're low-level. Well, maybe they the Harima definitely helps, that's for sure. Harima and UDK start. That does help a lot. I've got to hope that I can buff Strip and then nuke him. Now, in this case, I could bring in a Quintus because of Harima, and Quintus ignores Harima, the passive there, at least with the A2 on one enemy. He's going with the UDK strat, the cheese strat. I'm going to bring in Foley, and he's got a lot of red affinity here. So I can bring in Samson on this one. Since there's so much red affinity here on the table, and we are positive affinity against it. So if for some reason Foley doesn't kill the Sun Wukong, maybe the Samson comes in and can finish the job off. But we'll see. Actually, now that I think about it, I think my Sammy is faster. Yeah, I think my Samson's faster than my Foley. I don't remember actually off the top of my head. Maybe my Foley is slightly faster than Sammy. Actually, in this case, I might be able to just ban the Harima, now that I think about it. Because I'm going to go faster than him, most likely. I mean, he does have the speed aura of 28%, but I think I'll just be able to kill the Sun Wukong and win. Unless he has stone skin, but we'll see. No stone skin. Yeah, so we're just going to kill the Sun Wukong and win. And try to stun. Perfect. Alright, let's just A1. And then we'll nuke everybody. Yeah, so my Samson was faster. Okay. So we killed the Sun Wukong. It's over. I can full auto. GG's. Alright, word. So that one's done. So yeah, he, he made it up there with the cheese strat. With Harima, UDK. Sun Wukong. Okay, let's keep going. Got a level 100 this time. Bismo Row. Alright. Man, I did. I do wish I had Harima. That would be pretty cool. And I would love to utilize this chick right here, but she just doesn't have enough. She doesn't bring enough to the table for survivability. Lanicus, I think, honestly, Lanicus needs a buff. <laughs> As an ally attacker, just give her a speed aura in all battles or something. She has no aura. All right. She has no aura at all. She has a percentage chance to grant an extra turn, only 50% when fully booked. And then she only invites three people, which, of course, on Arena, yes, all of your allies are going to attack with her. But anywhere else in the game, not all of your allies will attack with her, especially Hydra. Like, you want a full team ally attacker. That's why she falls off. But the six star blessing does help with speed. And I put her in stone skin, but just doesn't do enough in here. I feel like so there's not enough survivability from her either. Another one here with Sun Wukong. I think we're going to go... I'm going to go fast here with the picks. Try to go fast. Foley with Arbiter. Unfortunately, sometimes I go the full 60 seconds because I'm a yapaholic, so... Got Androck and Pythion, two red affinity, two green affinity. I think I can safe to say I can bring in Samson again on this one. Androck is actually really strong in Live Arena. Surprisingly strong because of the Enfeeble, I think he places. So everybody weak hits. So I'm probably gonna ban Androck. And then I'll probably bring in maybe Duchess. Duchess with the bolster. 
That could help me. Bolster Duchess, or I could bring in somebody else. I could bring in Quintus, but I need, like, Stone Skin or something. I feel like. Or I could even bring in Rhodos on this one. To be honest. You could bring in UDK, though. You know, let's just bring in UDK so it doesn't do their UDK strat. Let's do that. Uh, because if I brought in a Rhodos, he'd bring in the strat for UDK. I might have to just ban the Tormund so I don't get CC'd. So let's just do that. Try to go fast. Try to nuke him down. As long as we can kill the Sun Wukong, I probably will win this one. At least, I feel like I will. We'll see. We'll see. Sometimes people build Nuker and Drock. So... You got to be careful with those players that play a nuker androck. Like this guy, I don't think he could be a nuker, but he could potentially be a nuker. I don't know for sure though. I think I'm just going to A1 for now. And then we're just going to try to nuke down the Sunny. So he's block revived. And now we win. So he's not a nuker androck. So I just had to kill a Sun Wukong. If he was a nuker Androck, then yeah, he probably could have potentially won. I think he has an AoE ability. And then he can also place Enfeeble on everybody so it would extend or prolong the battle. So personally, if I do pull Androck, I'm going to build him with damage. I'm not going to build him for full CC or just support. Uh, I feel like in Live Arena, you do have to try your best to build some of the mythicals with damage not just support all right we're getting a lot of go first here so that of course helps us a lot wukong again damn wukong's getting picked every time <clears throat> this is a tough one. I think he's all stone skin. He's definitely all stone skin. I'm going to go fully. Maybe bombs. Should I go bombs? I mean, he only has one person in polymorph. So I think I'll go bombs. The only other thing is, if everybody's in stone skin, how do I get rid of it other than getting lucky with the CC strip from Makage? He's most likely banning the Armands. It's a little bit challenging. And then if this guy gets a turn, it's over. I could bring in... I feel like he's going to bring in UDK. That sucks. He's going to bring in the UDK... Uh, cheese a lot of mythicals especially six star hmm udk wukong strat is still going strong it's definitely extremely powerful up here but oh he's doing the revive too that's interesting he's only level 95 though so i feel like i feel like i could beat him since he's only level 95, I think I fought Jack Hallows before. Did he beat me and I underestimated him? I don't remember. But I'm still going to ban the Crixia. He's still banning Armands. I should be faster than him. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, we're definitely faster. So I should just be able to nuke everybody down, basically. I'll CC and then nuke everybody with the Foley. And then just in case, we'll throw on the bombs, of course. Make sure she gets killed after this nuke. Boop. He's dead. He's dead. It's over. GG's. All right. We're doing pretty good so far. We just had a lot of mythicals, but not enough speed. S. Dravo. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. He's going first, so he's going to go with the Armands. And we are going to pick Sun Wukong and Arbiter. Yep. Sun Wukong, Arbiter, let's do that. And we're going to pick Makage. Assuming he doesn't pick Makage, then we'll go with Makage. And then 
after that, I think maybe I'll try out Quintus. Okay, so I got to go with Foley since he's bringing in Makage. And this is going to be a tough one, right? Double speed, double CC. I got to bring in Foley. And I've got to bring in... I think I got to bring in Bombs. He's got a one-star here and a three-star here. Definitely a chance to kill me. You know what? No. Let's go with uh, Samson, but we'll go last because nobody else that I'm aware of picks Samson up here, so I should be fine with Sammy. And I can also potentially just go with Pytheon, Red Affinity against Blue Affinity, Kaimar, which means he can weak hit, which is really nice. And my, my Pytheon, I believe, is geared, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. I, I hope he's geared. Pretty sure he's geared. So my Pytheon, if he is geared, he has immunity and stone skin for one turn. Now he's going to go with his damage. So far I have two revivers here. I can still go with UDK. I'm going to go with UDK just because Marius, oh man, if we drop turn meter, Marius comes in and smacks. But I think Georgia is an issue. Mar they're both actually an issue. I think I can go safe to say I can go like this with bombs, stone skin bombs, and see if he bans my speed. Yep, he will. So we got stone skin. We could be in trouble if the Georgia goes crazy. If he sleeps though, if he decides to sleep with the Kaimar. I could beat him easily. If he sleeps, he loses. GG's. All right. This should be a loss for him. That's that's that. There you go. He should not have slept, but he kind of had to. I did get sheeped as well. GG's. All right. That's because my Foley is nasty right now. Look at this Foley. This is a free-to-play Foley. I've been working on him for a while. He's only three-star. I don't have full faction guardians either. And I do have room for growth, so I can get more attack here, attack here, and more attack here. So in total, I think it's like 80 you can get on each one. Yeah. So 80, 160, 240 I can get for attack from these. So let's say minus 40, right? That's 39. So 69, if you take away 39, we're bringing us back down now to 6950. And then add 100 or 240. So he's going to be well over 7,200, right? Or just over 7,200 for attack on a baseline Foley with a three star, which is not bad. It's not, not terrible. I, I'd say there's much better Foley's out there, but for free to play, it's pretty good at 267 speed. At a four star, he's going to be 293. Yeah, 293 on the crit damage. So once I get that four star, he's going to be looking really good. So I can't wait for that. Of course, I've got a long ways to go to get this four star though. 57 right here. Now I could get 51 more, which will bring me to 108, but it just takes forever to save these essence, man. It takes so, so long. All right, let's hop in. We're right now on a pretty good hot streak. One, two, three, four, five wins. All right. Can we make it past 4,300? Let's see. Let's keep going. He's going first. I'm going to go ahead with Arbiter and Sun Wukong with the Armands that he's probably going to pick. Let's see. Let's see. Come on now. Come on now. Pick Armands. That's like 99% of players. All right, he's having struggles. There's the Armands. Let's go. Speed, Wukong. Now, he could end up picking UDK, potentially. UDK is really strong against Armands. Or against Sun Wukong, I mean. Um, of course, really strong against Rodos as well. I haven't used Rodos in any of these fights, but he's just so much easily accountable. Uh, counterable. It's going with Hegemon. Hmm. 
Hmm. So, I mean, with Hegemon, I definitely could beat him by going tanky. So I probably want to... The issue is there's so much CC here. He could even potentially take a turn with Crixia. I would have to cleanse or have a way to cleanse. And I think that might be Elva. Yeah. And then she can weak hit on Elva. She, Crixia can also weak hit on Foley. Which I'm not going to bring in Foley yet. I'm going to bring in... I might bring her in. Or I could bring in Bolster. Actually, let's bring in Bolster Duchess. Yeah, let's bring in Bolster Duchess. And bring in the Makage. I was thinking of doing Elva, but I want Bolster... Because he's going to do a smack with damage with Hegemon. He's clearly a damage dealer. So having Bolster, hopefully he won't kill Sun Wukong right away. I've got to ban the Armands. And then, of course, Crixia stands in our way with the annoying increased cooldown of skills. I probably want to bring in... Oh... Narciss and Georgian. I think I want to go bombs. If I go bombs, will I beat him in speed? I don't know. We're going to try it. He has four star, no, five star polymorph on one. But I could potentially beat him like this, if, especially if he has stone skin. Because he has no reviver, so that makes me think he has stone skin. Yeah, so he's got a, um, he banned my Mikage. Also really interesting. So yeah, he probably has stone skin. But the thing is, I have stone skin on my Nishak, so he's not going to be able to CC my Nishak with Hegemon. So he goes right away. We don't actually see the speeds of everybody else, at least not yet. We get to go. Nice. We didn't get locked out, which is huge. I could... I honestly could just nuke right now. Yeah, let's just do the nuke. Yeah. That's fine. So he's dead. That's fine. We could weak hit. We didn't weak hit. That's nice. And we didn't get sheeped. GG's. We're going to go ahead and do this. It's over. All right. Good fight. Good fight. Wow, six wins in a row. That's actually big. We're at 4,300 now. Let's keep going. I'll take that. This is actually a really good win streak for me. Six wins, one loss, just in the beginning. Hopefully we can keep this going, though. I'd like to go seven for ten, or eight for ten would be nice. Maybe even nine for ten. Obviously, if I get nine wins, one loss would be the best I've done in a long time. We're going to go with Armands. I think I want to go with Makage. Maybe I'll go with UDK. I might end up just going with UDK Armands right now, actually. Just so that it deters him from putting in Sun Wukong. Or it does put in Sun Wukong. Because it could go both ways. Alright, so he's not going Sun Wukong. He's trying to go the Shu Zen strat. So we're going to go ahead and throw in a Tormund. Uh, we will take Wukong. We will take... Who else do I want here? I think... I think I want... I want Stone Skin on this one. The Shu Zen... I don't believe Shu Zen strips buffs from people, but I could be wrong. I, I forget her kit. I'll be completely honest. I forget Shu Zen's kit off the top of my head. But if we go with Bolster Duchess, again, I can just keep on doing Bolster Duchess, to be honest. However, obviously, this chick Rhonda is really strong. So you know what I will do? Reset filters. Let's go with a Hefrak last. I think for my damage dealer, I'll go with Hefrak. And I'll go with Pythion to cleanse as needed if he brings in CC. Especially like a Makage. Because I kind of want him... 
I could also bring in Tormin. You know, Tormin would be a good option here. He's going with bombs. So Galathir has to be banned. And then we need to bring in Tormin. So we bring in Tormin, ban Galathir. If he bans Pytheon, I probably lose. He actually didn't ban Pytheon. He banned the Tormund. Which is interesting that he kept my Armands. Because if he doesn't kill me right away, it's it's over. I feel like I would win. Unless he laps me in speed. In that case, if he laps me, then he could win. But I feel like as long as my Pytheon has the right gear... Immunity and stone skin, which I think he does. Yep, immunity, stone skin. He can't place bombs on my Pytheon. And it would be a waste to instant turn. Yeah, so he's just doing decreased speed. But even if he does the bombs, it doesn't even really matter at this point. Well, our mons will die. Okay, that makes sense. Hopefully, oh wait, now that I think about it, Is my Sun Wukong... Ah, shoot. My Sun Wukong is faster than my Pytheon, too. She should have not done that. She should have locked out my Pytheon. I think I'm just going to cleanse. I don't want my UDK to get blown up by the bomb. So I'm just going to cleanse. And then... She might be able to one-shot my Pytheon. The good news is we she weak hit. So I could win this. He should have done that to my champion right here. My Wukong. Because now I have a chance to win. I can do this. Can I get a fear? Two fears. If he fears, I get a turn with some Wukong. One shot. Feared. One shot. GG's. <laughs> wow okay i'll take it i will take that thank you noise yeah so three four five six seven wins now seven wins one loss we're actually on a roll today holy crap let's go rye kyle 99 all right let's do this Let's get it done, Kyle. Seafy six star. <coughs> Excuse me. Seafy six star, Warlord six star. That's a problem. Wukong UDK. Wukong UDK, G strap. He's going to go with the Rodos. If not, I'm going to pick Rodos. If he does not pick Rodos, I will pick Rodos. He's probably going to go with Harima, though. A lot of people go with Harima Sifi. It's a deadly combo. Absolutely deadly combo. He's going double speed. Georgid. Okay. Okay, that's tough. Hmm. Um, I think I'm going to go Stone Skin. He's got a lot of six-star Polymorph, though. So he's just trying to go fast and win, basically. Maybe I just go with Tormin. So if it's like a... Hmm... I would get locked out still because he's going to lock out if he takes a turn. So I can't do that. I can't actually do Tormin. I would have to go with like... Well, I have to go Tormin actually. Because even with the lockout, I have to go Tormin. Who do I bring in then? If I get locked, I'm kind of screwed, right? Maybe I go Pytheon. He has my highest resistance, I feel like. He's going to ban Tormin though. I could potentially just ban the Warlord in Prey. But no, I have to ban Sifi because I have to hope that he gets frozen. 
If he doesn't get frozen, then I'm screwed. Sigfrind as well. Oh, Jesus. I've got to hope that he gets frozen. Okay, that's good. That's good. So we're going to go with speed. I'm surprised he didn't ban Armand's. So if he doesn't have any stone skin and he speeds up and I get lucky and I just continuously freeze them, CC, I could win. Oh, he has his Warlord going faster than his Arbiter. Damn. Triple speed, though. We'll take that. That sucks, dude. He's going to kill my Pytheon. I'm dead. I don't have reaction. Wait, what? He didn't kill my Pytheon? Huh? Hmm. No stun. He's going to heal, of course. Now he's going to one shot. All right, can we still win this? I don't know. Probably not with the Sigfrin smack. Ooh, he weak hit. Okay. That is nice. I just don't know if we survive. That's the issue. Steal that? Okay. Stole the shield. He still just demolished. God damn. That's insane. Yeah, I lost. Sigfrin's ridiculous. Sigfrin is insane, dude. 32 million player power, almost. Plus four Yakarl. Nice. All right, well, Sigfrin going nuts. Sigfrin. Man, oh man. That's a tough one to fight. I mean, he went first. I was kind of just hoping and praying on the freezes, but we didn't get it. So that sucks. We got it initially, but we didn't get it when, what's his name, George had, he ended up getting unkillable on himself, and we didn't end up freezing him, so that sucks. Alright, let's go Armands, let's hope we can get this win. Hopefully the last two are not losses, I'd like to get two wins. Okay, he's going with the CV, let's go speed this time. Let's go UDK. Speed, UDK, and then it kind of deters him from going with Rodos. He can still go with Rodos, but I'll probably just ban the Narciss. And I'll suck it up and try to fight the Rodos with Sifi. So he's going with the Wukong Makage combo. Interesting. No temporal chains on Makage. Probably going to ban the Sifi. I'm leaning on banning Sifi. He's more than likely going to bring in an Ancora. I could bring an Ancora, but that would be defeating the purpose for me here. So we're going to go Rodos. Right? We want to go Rodos. The only issue I'm going to have here is definitely this chick right here, Makage. I think I might even go with Foley on this one or Quintus. Either or is fine, but I feel like like Foley is going to be better, especially if I can kill the Wukong and the Narciss at the same time. So I think I'm going to go like this. And there's a high chance that he just bans my Rodos or he bans my UDK. So we'll see what happens here. All right, what's he going to go with? I'm actually really interested in what he's going to go with. I'm going to assume Ancora, but I could be wrong. Because Ancora can revive. He did not go with Ancora. He 
He's going with as high speeds as possible. Narciss definitely ignores us a little bit. He can speed up a bunch of times. He can do CC. I think I'm still going to ban the Seafy though. I have a feeling... I mean... I think I'm going to be faster than his Ostrid, but I could be wrong. If I'm not faster than his Ostrid, he could potentially win. Let's see. All right, we're faster. Nice. Nice. Let's go for the Narciss right away. We didn't get the Narciss, but maybe we can still win this. We killed the person we needed to kill. This Narciss is extremely tanky. Could he one-shot us? Let's see. He did almost. He almost one-shot my Arbiter. Thank God she's tanky. Thank the heavens. Okay, let's go. This. Oh, she's going to remove everything. Yeah, I figured. Let's just speed up and we can kill him. Nice. Nice. There we go. Let's go, baby. He did have a very strong Narcissus, but didn't do enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wins, two losses. Wow. Okay. We'll take that. I am currently at rank 2940. So we're pretty high up there and uh, we're doing pretty good. Honestly, I'm honestly doing pretty damn good. Let's see if we have any more fights here. I do have five more fights, so I think I'll go ahead and do that. Let's do it. Let's keep fighting. After this fight, I'm going to take a look at the missions and see where I'm at with the missions as well. Razor burn, 4324. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Just got a message. Let me see what we got going on here. All right. He left the battle. What the heck? Why did he leave the battle? Because I put our mons. Hey, we'll take it. We got the win. Four more. Live Arena refills. Now we've got Ascend 4 Artifacts to level 6 of Ascension. 4 Artifacts to level 6? I gotta do a bunch of Sand Devil farming. I should have prepped that, huh? Damn. I don't know how many I could potentially do. I don't, does it say like boots or anything specific? Nope, just says Ascend 4. So nothing specific. So what I'm looking for... Is artifacts that are basically done. Right? So there's one, level six. Okay. Here's another one. That'll be two. There's another one. Alright. And then we've got let's go on to the next one. Uh how much would this cost to get it to six? Or no, that's not six, right? That's a five. Alright, we can't do that. So what else do we have? What else do we have? Where is a six? Come on, help me out here, please, for the love of God. I just want one that's at five so I can use the least amount of pots possible. None of these are at five. Are we getting warmer? I don't know. Can we get warmer? Come on now. Nope. Nope. This is unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. This is good. Let's go ahead and do this one. This is number three. One more. We only need one more to six. This actually wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than this, but I did have a good amount saved, so that's nice. Come on. Where are we at? Where are we at? I need one to six. I guess I'll do a... A four to six, I mean, might as well. I mean, I'd like to focus on damage dealers if possible. If at all possible. Let's focus on this guy here. It's an HP though, nah. This one could go to six. Yeah, let's do this one. So then when we re-roll it, hopefully it gets attack percent or accuracy. And I think that's that, right? Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Number 13. Earn 6,000 mortal soul coins from the Iron Twins. Oh, that should be easy enough. Mortal soul coins. 
Yeah, that's this one, right? Yeah. That's actually really easy because we do have the Iron Twins Void opened. So it'll probably take maybe three days if I use 150 gems. That's not too bad. Maybe four days tops. Cool. Let's keep fighting. Let's do it. Hop in. Five more battles. We went eight for ten. So two losses. So hopefully we can do well here. Come on now. So he's going first. Probably Armands. We will go with the Arbiter and Sun Wukong if he goes Armands. This is Omega. Omega C. I don't know which clan. I don't know how many clans Omega has, to be honest. He didn't go with Armands, which is a surprise to me. I am extremely surprised. Going to go super tanky. I think I might just go right off the bat with UDK. The reason being is because I don't know what he's going to pick next. I don't think I fought this guy, and I don't want to fight against one, a Sifi, a Rodos, and a Wukong. All three of them are deadly if you don't have UDK. And if he puts in an Arbiter, I'm going to ban the Duchess and put in a Torment. However, if he's smart, he'll go with the Arbiter last. All right, so that sucks. That kind of throws off my plan. <laughs> I mean, UDK is strong against Siegfried, but Marichka is just on a whole nother level. So I definitely need to bring in Foley. And I'm going to try to probably go fast now instead. I mean, I could go speed. Uh, this is a tough one now. Should I still bring in Tormund? Probably not. I think I'm just going to stick with my speed, though. Let's go Wukong. Wukong, just because of the fact that I could potentially sheep. I could sheep Siegfried. I could sheep Taras. Like, the damage dealers, I should have no problem with sheeping. Marichka might have enough resistance where I cannot sheep her, though. It's fine, but I think I might have to ban Duchess. Although... Ross Marichka is pretty crazy. Sigfrin's crazy too. Maybe I just go with a Sigfrin ban. He has no polymorph. I can go with I can just literally go with uh Nishak, but and ban this chick right here, Marichka. Let's do it. I'm banning Marichka. Does he ban my bombs? This is kind of a, a prey. He does have six star on the polymorph though. I just don't want Marichka to place the block damage. And now I could end up placing block buffs, but I don't think I'll have enough accuracy on my Wukong. I don't trust it. I think his champion right here in Duchess is going to have crazy resist. And we'll be able to tell just from doing this. But I could... Should I sheep? No, let's just go ahead and do this. And place bombs next. Please don't sheep. No sheep. Let's go. Let's go. Block damage on him. He can one shot, but she's dead. Oh my lord. Let's go. Put the weaken on him so he dies. Boom. He's dead. Boom. He's dead. He transforms and revives. I go ahead and kill. I'm going to one shot everybody. And he, oh, wait, I forgot he places block damage. Shoot. We got a fear. A couple of bombs. Let's go ahead and pull off the block damage. Let's try to... I got to I gotta try to take out this Sigfrin if I can. He doesn't kill me, which is nice. He did heal and... and wow, okay, okay. Go ahead and speed up. Forgot Siegfried heals and cleanses as well. So I do have increased attack now. I think we're just going to go for the Narciss. Big hit there. He does have a, a revive. Okay. Let's heal. Let's try to strip. We did not get it. That sucks. 
Another bomb. He's going to nuke us to the ground. It's over. GG's. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Can we steal? We're just not doing enough damage now because of the fact that he has uh, Taras doing so much damage to us. Yeah, GG's. All right. So that sucks, dude. So many, so many revives. So many revives. 40.73 million player power. Almost beat him, though. Almost had him. That's a, that's a lot of player power. He's been uh, light spending. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. I mean, that's how I beat Sigfrin. I usually use the UDK and the Sun Wukong strat. Sometimes I'll bring in bombs. I kind of had to bring in bombs there, though, because even if I brought... I mean, maybe I could have brought in Foley there. But I feel like I wouldn't have had enough damage to kill the Taras without the bombs. Hmm. And then I needed Sun Wukong to keep stripping off all the buffs because of Sigfrin with the block damage and then the uh, Duchess placing everything as well. So, yeah, it would have been difficult regardless. This guy's got a plus three Arbiter. That's pretty crazy. So we're going to go with Armand's. I think he's going to bring in... I kind of got to tank him, right? I'm going to take the Makage and then go Duchess next. Probably bolster Duchess. I do have to tank though. Oh my god. He's got Lazarius and Galathir. All right. Should I have done those last five battles? <laughs> I guess we're going to practice. We're going to practice against some crazy teams. So... Hmm. I got to ban Galathir. I think I bring in Tormund. This is a tough one. I need a reviver. I think I'm going to go Duchess Stoneskin. Probably going to go Galathir's Locks as well. I guess I'm going to go with Sun Wukong. If he brings in Sigfrind, I'm pretty much screwed. If he has a Sigfrind, that is. Dargonius. If he has a Sigfrind. Oh, my lord. This is going to be crazy. I've got to go Tormen. He's going to ban my Tormen. This is the only way I can win. Yeah. Mm, that sucks. All right. Well. I mean, the issue is he's going to lap me. He's going to kill my Sun Wukong and put everybody on cooldown. Unless I get lucky and take a turn with my Mikage, which I doubt it. Instant turn. Yeah, it's over. GG's. And she still didn't take a turn, so it's whatever. Yeah, there's the cooldown. I mean, I can CC still, so that's good. I can potentially focus on the Sigfrin. I don't know if we're going to get this Dubski, though. Let's see, let's see. I think the weaker person is going to be Shu Zen. Let's go for Shu Zen. So everybody does get nuked, which is nice. Let's go ahead and strip. He resisted. Sigfrin resisted 3%? Are you kidding me right now? You're joking. Sigfrin 3%. Because nobody in, in their right mind puts Sigfrin in high resist like that. Okay, yeah, he 3%. He absolutely 3%. Um, I think I'll sheep now. Sheep the Siggy. We might actually win this, potentially. Unless Sigfrin goes nuts. Okay, he revives... He does revive. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting the block damage when he revives. That sucks, dude. And a hundred percent turn meter. Holy crap! A hundred percent turn meter. That's nuts. And he still has an AOE with Lazarius. Yeah, I screwed myself. I just screwed myself there. Hmm. 
And he gets another turn. Heals. I can't CC them. Uh, swap forms. I gotta swap forms. Revive Sun Wukong. Nope, still didn't revive. I've gotta try to strip. Okay, that's good. Does she have an instant turn? I hope not. So no instant. She can speed up, but I can still take a turn with Sun Wukong. Let's do a revive now. Put the heals. Let's go ahead and nuke again. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, that was beautiful. 160 IQ. Let's go. Alright. Let's go, baby. 23.3 million player power with that plus three. That's nuts, dude. Let's go. Freaking Sigfrin and Lazarius and Shuzen and Arbiter. Damn. We're doing good tonight. Shell Bonchik. All right, all right, let's do it. Hopefully we can get this Dubski. He's going with Ancora Narciss right away. Uh, so, I mean, I probably want to go with, I mean, I definitely want CC. Ancora is super annoying. I'm not going to lie. Ancora is wicked annoying. I'm just going to go with the UDK and Sun Wukong strat right away to see if he picks speed. If he picks Arbiter, I'm going to ban the Ancora and put in Tormund. So let's see what happens here. So I'll go Tormund, and then I'll go with probably a Reviver. Uh, who should I put for a reviver though? So he's going Ancora, or sorry, no, uh, what's his, what's her name again? Elva, Elva, Marius. I haven't put in Mikage yet, but he has double, double cleanse, both blue affinity, which is strong against my Sun Wukong. However, Foley is very strong against... Marius, I think I'm just going to go speed last then. The reason being is because he decided not to go with speed. He could also, ah, uh, he could also play me right now. He could be playing me. He could be full stone skin. And I, in that case, I'm screwed. Ah, I messed this up. I should have went with bombs. I should have went with bombs. Nishak, because there's no polymorph. So if he's in stone skin, it's over. So... If he's not in stone skin, however, I could potentially win. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what happens. We're, we're going to try. I mean, yep, all stone skin, like I thought. So we'll speed up. We'll try to strip. Actually, we stripped a lot of people there. That's actually insane. I think I might just go for the kill there. So Marius is still very strong, not going to lie. But I do have a two-turn stone skin on my Sun Wukong, so I think I just won. See if we can strip the stone skin off Marius. Nope. We did strip one turn off or uh, de decrease the cooldown there. Strength in. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and do this, and then nuke, and then it's over. Oh, uh, what? She took no damage. Oh, strength and an increased defense, that's why. And he takes a turn instantly. Yikes. Oh, he took another turn? Oh, I forgot he has stuns, too. Nice, dude. That's crazy. Marius is... This is why I can't wait to have Marius, man. Holy crap. Let's try to get a CC. Decrease attack? Nah, I, I need the fear. I need the fear, man. Yikes. There goes the enfeeble. Let's try again. 
So this time we sheeped them. That's actually pretty good. I think I want the sheep. Now that I think about it. Let's try to stun. There we go. We actually wanted that sheep. Because when he gets out of it, I could do the A2 again, I think. Let's see. Oh, she removed it. She... Oh, because she has Narcissus, right? Yeah, she has Narcissus. That's why. Darn, I don't have the ability back. Does she have... Nobody has Polymorph. Let's see if we can kill him with this. Nice! Let's go, dude. We killed him with the Soul Reap. What? She had the revive back? Oh, my God. Okay, this sucks, because he's going to keep on killing me, and... He didn't get the provoke. I didn't get the fear. Come on, dude. And he got that ability back again to do the cleanse. Damn, Marius is so, so, so powerful. I should have won that. I should have won that, man. Marius is so insane. So that goes to show you how powerful Marius is in, in any battle in the game. Like, he's so powerful for any, any champion fight you know it doesn't matter where he's at he's going to be in good in any place in this entire game so especially for live arena like that that was crazy i killed him so many times unfortunately he just came back multiple times in one and i didn't get a critical hit on Ancora. without getting that critical hit that's what also killed me because she should have been dead it's unfortunate and you do automatically 20% less damage if you're negative affinity, so that kind of sucks. Why is it taking so long to find an opponent? I didn't lose three battles in a row. 49 seconds? That's wild. I'm facing someone in gold too? So if it doesn't find somebody, it puts you with someone in gold too? That's interesting. Taras, Sun Wukong. I think I'm going to go speed on this guy. I feel like he's not going to have a lot of speed champs. So he's probably going to try to go second. I think I will also put in Nishak. He has one person that's fast. Sifi. Pytheon could have high resist, but I think I'll be okay against Pytheon. I'm going to go with Nishak anyways. The issue is going to be if he throws in, what's her name? Marichka. I could go like this. And I might honestly, instead of bombs, I think I'm just going to throw in Quintus against Taras. However, if he throws in a UDK, okay, he's going with Rodos. We can ban Sifi, and we can either A, I think I'm going to one-shot Rodos with my Foley anyways, so that shouldn't really be a problem. Uh, now that I think about it, it could be a problem. We can still one-shot Rodos, actually. We can just ally attack. Yeah, and then we go ahead and one-shot them. Yeah, and we take this, and we say, boop. <laughs> Quintus I wish he had an extra turn though if only he had an extra turn I would kill this stupid Pytheon man I might have to consider figuring out how to I don't know how to do extra turn mechanic with the gear that I have like I want him in lethal but I want him somehow take an extra turn he would be so nasty so nasty he could be Oh, I did another five. Whoops. Ah, we got time. We got time. Let's go. Let's go. You guys don't mind, right? We're going on a roll. I think that's 13 wins. Thir no. 8, 9, 10, 11 wins and 4 losses. If I counted that correctly. So this is a really good showing right now. We've got Edwin 4 here. He's going to go with Armand's. I'm definitely going to go with Arbiter... Arbiter Wukong. Yeah. I mean, he could end up going with UDK, but again, I do have a counter with UDK, I feel like. 
I could just go with, I mean, he, if he goes UDK, he'll probably go with Tormund because I have speed. And I would have to go, so he's got Rhodos already. I'm going UDK. So he didn't pick UDK, which means I'm going to go with that. Now I can't pick my, my Duchess, unfortunately, and I don't have Sifi. However, I can go like this with some CC. I can also go bombs. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go with Foley again. I could go bombs or I can go Foley. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go Foley because I can't do bombs against Mithrala and I have to ban Armands. And he doesn't have, I doubt that he's going to be in stone skin on these two. Maybe on the Ronda. I've never personally seen a Rodos with stone skin. Maybe, actually, maybe one time. The only person I can think of that has stone skin though on there. Oh my God, that is a massive shield. Holy crap. The only person I can think of though would be like genie puts stone skin on his rotos let's go ahead and do this though he's already dead boom he can revive but that's an extremely fast holy crap how fast is this dude what how fast is this dude of course of course of course I'm getting sheeped. Six star. Dude. And stone skinned. Oh my god. So much CC. He beat me from CC. Wow. And he's fast. Jesus, he's fast. What is that CC, man? Ugh. I need to face this guy again. We need to fight again. We need to fight again. There's no way, dude. Put me against Edwin right now. Wow. Man, losing because of that RNG. Ah, I, I already fought this guy earlier. Vry Kyle. I think this is the one that had all the mythicals. It's going to go Armand's. Pretty sure this is the guy that had mythicals. So let's see what we can do here. I could be wrong though. I forget. Damn, Edwin. Good fight though. Good fight. Man, oh man. That's one of the fastest duchesses I've ever seen. Oh, he has Warlord. That's right. Okay. Uh, how did I beat this guy? Well, I... I went first against him, I think. Because I was able to ban CV, but I can't ban CV this time, so. I think I use UDK. And he's going to lock out, so I got to use Makage. I've got to ban Armands. And I'll probably go with Rodos. Yeah. Rodos it is. Because he can get locked out, but he can still take some turns. I could also potentially use Samson. Every time he's hit with a critical, he can counterattack. And then he has a percentage chance to counterattack when hit with a weak or a normal hit or a strong hit. I think it's like 20 or 40% chance, something like that. He's going with Harima. Okay. Alright, every single person is in Polymorph. Yeah, we're going to go with Samson. And we're going to ban the Armands. Makage ban. Hmm. It's a very interesting ban for me. I, I don't know why he's banning the Makage over everybody else. Over the, the speed. I mean, I understand she has CC, but... I think he's faster than me, isn't he? Yeah, he's faster. Why would he? He doesn't even need to ban Makage. Like, at all. 
Well, I mean, I guess I understand it because I can I can strip his buffs and stuff. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Now I'm uh, I'm seeing it. All right. Well, I guess GG's with the increased defense is insane. Yeah, he'll AOE. Yeah, and the provoke. Yikes. Okay. I honestly don't even know if I'll get a turn to be, to be fair. He'll AOE. No provoke, but he almost killed me with that AOE, which is insane. No provoke. Uh, yeah, this isn't looking good. He could freeze as well still. Yeah, of course he gets the double freeze. Yeah, GG's. She's got the triple hit back as well, and he's going to get the ability back. She's going to speed up, and they're all going to get another turn before I can even take a turn. And he's going to get another freeze. Watch. He's going to kill Sun Wukong as well. Ah, no freeze. I'm surprised. She's going to speed up, though, and then he's going to take a turn. Wow, okay. We just can't do anything here. I've got locked out already, so he's locked me out again. The only way I can win is if I get lucky and get my ability back on the A2. So, because he went first, got our mons and the speed. That's why I lose. Because I had to ban the... I had to ban the Seafy. And he got a Provoke again. There's just no way. I don't think I can win this. It's just a perpetual CC, and then now he's got the stun. Stun set as well. Yeah. All right, good fight. Good fight. I did wait a second to see if I could do anything, but... Yeah, I fought him before. Except last time he had Sigfrun, and he went with speed, and I went with Tormund. All right, so... He also had Seafy as well, but I banned the Seafy. And I went first, and I picked Armands. And he kept my Armands. So this time he went with Armands first. 32 million player power. All right, well, in the end, we did lose the last two. This one was a really close fight. I should have won that, but it is what it is. So one, two, three, four, five win, five losses. Ten. We had what? How many fights did we have? 17? I think we lost like six times out of 17. 11 for 17. It's not too bad. We're at rank 29, 89, 52% win rate. So we're doing okay. Area bonus wise, probably I'm kind of focusing on Curse City right now. And I do want to just upgrade this at this time, just because Curse City is really difficult, especially in Soul Cross. I think going with speed is really important. Going with accuracy is important, especially for your champions who can CC. And resistance is also pretty important too, depending on what level or stages you're at. But I would recommend going with accuracy, speed, crit damage, and ignore defense first. Um, probably the damage ones first, because you can a lot of the floors in Soul Cross, you kind of have to just nuke them down as quickly as possible. And so, yeah. I think I'll do that. I'm not going to do it right this second, but I will focus on that in the future. Anywho, thank you so much for watching. If you've watched this far, I really appreciate you all, and I'll hope to see you on a video soon. Take care.